Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to take a look at this cool riff from Alice Cooper's Poison 1989, the Trash Album. Um, and um, I'd never learned this riff before. I've been hearing it forever and always thought it was super cool. And so I learned it and I'm going to show it to you guys today. Before we get cracking on that, and if you don't know, we're in the middle of, this is day nine of... 30 80s metal riffs in 30 days the whole month of april i'm featuring a riff from 1980s heavy metal hard rock and we are talking about that riff and i'm showing you how to play it providing the tab for you so with that said in the description below there's a tab for this and also a free sweet picking guide for you guys sweet picking boot camp Make sure and check that out. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so you don't miss any of these cool riffs coming at you. All right, so as I said, this is day nine, and this is the Poison Riff. Pretty sure all of you have heard this before, but maybe you haven't learned how to play it before, so I'm going to show you that. It's actually fairly simple, but it's a little bit tricky. And uh, so let's take a look at it. We're in the key of D here, standard tuning. Um, there is a backing, the bass and the um, rhythm guitar are sort of providing the harmonic movement. We're playing this riff over that, so you really only get the full effect of the riff, um, the entirety of the riff, as you play over the backing chords and the bass notes. But having said that, here is what we're going to do. So, fifth fret on the A string. I'm going to play that twice. Now the backing chord's going. But we're just playing the single note here. And then you're going to play the fifth of the uh, D5 power chord here. So seventh fret on the, on the D string. And then back to the fifth fret on the A string. And there's some muting going on here. Now what we're going to do is stretch up to 9th fret on the G and play that note, E note. Back to the 5th fret on the D and then 7th fret G, back to the 5th fret D. So the whole, that whole first cycle should sound like this slow. And then you're back to the D string there. I'm sorry, the D note on the A string. Okay. Now we're going to play this little idea. And that is 4 5 on the D string, 5 on the uh, G string. So you're going to kind of roll that finger over. You could go. Either way, uh, either way you want to finger that, I like to just roll my middle finger down. Just make sure you don't get any bleed of the notes. You don't really want this. You know, you don't want it to sound like a chord. And then we're going to play from five, quick slide up to seven. You don't really hear this five, so you could just go right to the seven, but I'm kind of going okay. Um, watching, by the way, watching Nita Strauss play this and teach this, I've, I was watching a video of her um, just because there was some different ways I've seen people playing this and some, some are using open strings like the open D string for this, but watching Nita play it, this is how she she plays it and how she fingers the uh, the notes and stuff. So I'm almost positive this is the original way it was done here. And who doesn't like Nita Strauss, right? She's a great player and a super cool person, and um, glad she got that gig in Alice Cooper. So this is the first part of the riff along with that next little figure. So. Now, 
you can start over. Now the next part is sliding from the third fret up to the fifth fret. And then continuing the rip. So now we're adding a little bit of complexity to the whole thing, right? And you actually do hear this slide, so you have to time this correctly. So let me play it up, let me play it up to that point and then continuing on with that slide from the third fret to the fifth fret so you can hear the whole thing in context. Here we go. So, as you can see, there's a little bit of dancing around here. You just make sure of the timing on that. So that you get locked in with the groove, otherwise it can become a mess pretty quick. Um, but once you kind of feel that out and, and you know where you're lining up with the groove with the notes. It's really not too hard. You just gotta kinda get this under your fingers. Um, so that's it. And then the last part is, so we're, come, we're sliding into it. We're just repeating the second half of the riff there. So. Whoops. A little bit of string skipping going on going on here, so it's a nice little picking workout too. So you're just pedaling off of that D note and um, playing sort of notes from the D minor scale here over that. It just makes a really cool riff. Let me do the whole thing for you once. Here we go. Have it on the D note in the second guitar is playing the chord. And then we head into the verse. So there you go. That's the whole riff for Alice Cooper's Poison. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you're enjoying this series. I've been hearing from a lot of you um, for this 30 80s metal riffs in 30 days, and some of you are giving me your uh, your riffs that you want to hear. Just remember that you can only hear one riff per band. So if I've already played the band in question, I'm not going to do uh, another riff during this series on that band. But um, you might also refer to my uh, riff section on my YouTube channel where I've got definitely got some some longer videos featuring one band. I've got Dokken and Rat and all kinds of bands on there where it's just, you know, five or six or seven riffs from that particular band. So make sure and check those out as well. But right now we're in the midst of this. This was Day 9, Alice Cooper's Poison. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure and grab that tab down below in the free sweet picking guide. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Rock on! Yeah.